right. there's no blood right. that comes up as Bahamian blood on a lab test. Oh, this is Bahamian blood, definitely. If you put it in a lab test, oh, that, that's Bahamian blood. This is American blood. This is Haitian blood. This is Canadian blood. There, there's no test right. for that. Right, so right, right. nationality is as social a construct as you get. Is based on words on a paper that everybody agreed to. Yo, it's Dyson Knight, and this is episode eight of the Something Show. And this week we are talking prove your citizenship. We will be joined by Dr. Campazard and also Juan Knowles. What's going on, man? It's all good. So I already did the introduction. I'm live now from, from Halifax, Canada. Nice. Um, Canada being one of the most culturally diverse places in the planet. What up, Doc? What's going on, gentlemen? Okay. Sorry, it's been so long. I had to, I couldn't button up the shirt, man. It's that's, too that, tight. That, that's what happens. That's what happens when you, you know, don't stay out of the gym. Bench pressing <laughs> 200 pounds on your stories and things like that. Jeez. I want to get hey, it, man. Hey, I, had, I had to take, I, 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 had on, I had on a white shirt. Similar to what you have on, Ken, I had to take it off because... The, 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 the depression, yeah, no, couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. Yeah, no. well, I buttoned up quite fine and easy. Dr. Kent Bazard, I am a sports medicine physician and a um, personal trainer and nutrition coach. And um, I'm the owner of Empire Fitness here in Nassau and am owner of Empire Sports Medicine Clinic here in Nassau, Bahamas. Warren Knowles, former, you know, Wu Tang Clan affiliate, owner of Knowles Wood Flooring here in um, West Palm Beach, 15 years business owner, motivational speaker. I'm Dyson Knight, international recording artist, um, Bahaman. Y'all know the song Who Let the Dogs Out? That's us. So we're getting into prove your citizenship. And Kent started this. The good doctor started this. And he tell did. us what, what kind of teed you off or, or really. You know, got you, got your gears going with this whole topic of Bahamian citizenship, um, mainly as you introduced it initially. Well, what? Just to jump right into it, um, I got into a conversation about. Um, well, some people don't know there was there was kind of a um, demonstration, or you might call it a publicity stunt. That um, one of our local, one of our local, uh, I, I think he's known as an activist. I'm not, we're not calling no names here, but okay. a person who's known as an activist and his groups, the group, group members, they wanted to engage um, our leaders as they exited parliament. And there was a big production and whatever. Apparently, their concern is that the Bahamas is being, what did they say now? They have, to, they have to save the Bahamas for organic Bahamians. The term organic Bahamian is mm. what, kind of, what kind of peeved me off. So I said, mm. uh, I happened to be in a, um, in, a group, in a WhatsApp group with some of the members and this person actually, and actually um, a few sitting and former members of parliament, a few other business owners, some other celebrities, Bahamian celebrities. I'm in the group, in WhatsApp group with these persons and... Um, the person said, again, somebody said in the group something about, you know, we support the fight for organic Bahamian. So I said, what is an organic Bahamian? So, so they said, the first initial answer was an organic Bahamian is somebody who is organically Bahamian. <laughs> and, I said, and I said, well, the, somebody else responded earlier that, well, that that doesn't make sense. So let's try to get to the bottom of what that is long story short right. figure it out what the person what the person eventually what somebody eventually said not that person but somebody else eventually said it's a person whose both parents are born are from the bahamian soil that's what they said mm. are born from the bahamian soil of okay. course it's a figure of speech nobody's born from the soil but right. um so that kind of Personally, right. I felt personally attacked by that. And uh, because, as most people know, my father's Haitian and I'm Bahamian. My mother's mm -hmm. Bahamian, my father's Haitian. Mm -hmm. My wife is Guyanese. Mm -hmm. So, and I'm as Bahamian as they get. I'll, I'll, I'll put my Bahamian up against anybody. Yeah, of course. You, you understand what I'm saying? So, yeah, yeah. And, I, and I dare anybody to challenge me on my Bahamian-ness. I, I dare anybody, as a matter of fact. 
As a matter yeah. of fact, there's a gentleman who lives in the Southern Caribbean who, if he watched this show, he would he he knows the consequences of challenging my behaviorness. Because I had to, I, <laughs> he, he decided to insult my country in my face. Wow. And actually doubled down on it twice. This is down in Trinidad. Well, I was yeah, I know this. I, hey, Dyson, I, I, I can verify this story. Go ahead. <laughs> I, was, I was down in Trinidad in medical oh, school, and this, and, this, <laughs> and this gentleman decided to insult my Bahamian women. He mm. said, all Bahamian women are fat and ugly. Mm. What? Uh, so I said, the Bahamas. I said, um, well, this is what I said, bro. I said, you know, you're talking about people's mothers, aunts, grandmothers, etc. right? I said, you understand that? I got right in his face. I said, you understand that, right? And he said, I don't care. I don't care. Blah, 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 blah. So I broke his teeth. And um, the, good, the, the, the good old doctor. The good yeah. old doctor, Dyson. No, I wasn't a doctor yet. <laughs> He's still a good old doctor, man. That's, that's, why, that's how he knew he had to become a doctor. He had to fix the yeah. teeth. Well, I know it was going to be a dentist, that's for sure. The good old <laughs> medical student. All but right, I broke cool. his teeth. Mm-hmm. Broke his mm-hmm. teeth. <laughs> that's interesting. Uh, because, you know, you can, I can say it about my people. I could, I could talk about my people. You can't talk right. about my people. No, right, okay? Right. Right. I can talk about my people. You shut the hell up. <laughs> yes. Right. That's a good point, right. though, because... In my in my research, I, that you hit you hit one of the one of the key points in in um, who is a citizenship or who is a citizen and 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 how do you prove your citizenship? And I think it's going to blow a lot of people's mind when I go through my list. But how do you feel about it, Warren? Because you are a uh, Bahamian born, uh, now living abroad. Mm-hmm. Do you feel you still? I'm Bahamian, I'm Bahamian as it could come, bro. Are you serious? Listen, man. <laughs> I still got a connection over here where I go get conked from. All right, you straight. Say less. <laughs> you understand? And, 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 and check this out. Um, my connection is pretty expensive, but I'll pay that. I get two conked for like $25. I'll wow. pay that. Yeah. I'll pay that. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. But yeah, you, man. You, 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 you need no a matter, no matter where I go. Let me, tell, let me tell you a story quickly. When I first got on with Wu-Tang Clan, right? I started out as um, a person that helps around, you know, because I had to pay my dues to get in. So I was actually driving one of the known members. I'm going to call his name because me and him is good friends right now. One of the well-known members. Mm-hmm. And at that point in time, the GPS had just came out. There was no GPS on phones yet. So you had to buy mm-hmm. a little Garmin GPS. Got you. So we had inside the vehicle, we driving, I think, to Sioux Falls, South, South Dakota. We were driving there, right? And the, um, the directions led us all over the place. So, you know, him being a celebrity, he's not talking crazy to me, guys. And crazy, bro. Crazy. Right. I'm like, right. yeah, the nearest gas station, I put on the side of the road, and I guess, yo, get out the car, bro. And he was like, well, what's going on? What's, what's going on, B? What's going on, B? I said, let me tell you something, bro. I don't care. <laughs> so I don't care who you think you are or, or who know you. I, I found a Muhammad, bro. I'll Y'all go straight ahead with a rock right now. Right now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And from that point, me and him became pretty close throughout the whole entire tour. I know what he told me at the end of the day. Bro, I'm surprised out of everybody you actually stand up to me and told me exactly what was up. I say it's not the fact that I was trying to be big and bad, bro. I'm right. a man. You're a man also. Respect me accordingly. All right. Another That's the basis point. of the whole story. But Bahamian, yeah, man, in me all day, even over here. I travel a lot. So, I mean, all of that is like the the emotional side of of being a Bahamian. So, I want to get into the actual legal. legal side. So, a citizen, as I understand mm-hmm. from the book, is yeah. a legally documented member of a nation. Anyone, anyone disagree? My that song, but right, sounds right. Legally wrong. documented member of of a nation, and sounds I right. asked myself, the, since I answered the first question, what is a citizen? Then I asked myself, how do you become a citizen? You know, um, and also, like when, when is it? I want to say, convenient to to display your citizenship. And 
and and why you know why why would you even have a conversation or why would you have to say to somebody i am a this or i am a that right um as far as your legal documentation mm -hmm. Right, and in the Bahamas, this uh, for those of you watching from other places in the world, in the Bahamas, we have this this political um, passion or passion for politics, rather, and and things like immigration is high up on that that list of things we like to talk about, um, and mainly we talk about Haitians, Jamaicans. Um, and now recently, um, China, Chinese people have entered the conversation. Um, but we have people living in the Bahamas from all over the, all over the world, right? Mm -hmm. But because of certain things, and this is where I think the argument comes from to camp. It's like, I don't think, because it's been going on so long, we do have a certain prejudice towards certain nations when it comes to immigration. Um, but that's the ignorant conversation that's been happening. I think the more intelligent conversation would 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 kind of soften the way we treat um, our migrate people who migrate from other places. But I think this conversation should open the eyes of a lot of people when we start talking about citizenship duties and the responsibilities of being a citizen. So well, that's after, a perfect. So it's not just. Yeah, it's it's just it's mm. not just <laughs> it's just not your it's legal documentation. It's hard to find. But, hello. <laughs> so it's not just your legal <laughs> documentation. It it'll also be like, are you living up to your responsibilities of being a citizen of the nation that you are legally documented in? Before we dig deeper into that, I wanna mm -hmm. I wanna establish I wanna establish something, um, a point. Right before we move forward, um, we have a lot of there's a lot of discussion on the internet, news, and in society, especially in Western society, um, about certain things that are either scientific or social construct. Right, and I'm going to avoid bringing up that topic, but we like to say that certain things are not based on science; they're based on a social construct. Correct? Or they're a right. spectrum, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And in, as I thought about this, and I thought about it, and I thought about it, and you know the conclusion I came to? Mm -hmm. Nationality is as social a construct as you can get. Right. There's no biology behind nationality. There right. is none. We like to think that there is. You know, we like to say, I'm a human. I'm, I have this blood in me. I have that blood in me. No, you don't. You, you have genes in you, but you don't have no blood in you. You, you, know, you know what I'm saying? Right. There's no blood right. that comes up as Bahamian blood on a lab test. Oh, this is Bahamian blood, definitely. If you put it in a lab test, oh, that, that's Bahamian blood. This is American blood. This is Haitian blood. This is Canadian blood. There, there's no test right. for that. Right. So right. Right. nationality is as social a construct as you get. It's based on words on a paper that everybody agree to. Right. Do you understand what I'm saying? So that you don't get more social construct than that. So let's just establish that going forward. Being a citizen of any country is a social construct. It is not literal. So even using the term organic don't make sense. But what the hell that even supposed to mean? Now, I know organic when we talk about fruits and vegetables and stuff like that, right? But when it comes to actual DNA, like the good doctor said a while ago, what does that even mean? Organic you come from the soil unassisted by <laughs> by any fertilizers. Kenny, Kenny, we did a laugh just now. That's not so, much, man. So, so I, I think maybe talk about citizen. It, well, go ahead. You, you know, probably have a better understanding of what me? they mean. I ran and looked this up. I ran and looked this up. I ran and looked this up. I was reading about this all week. I ran and looked this up. And the science is very clear on this. All humans are the same. All males are this, all females are that. That's pretty much the major difference between the two. So right? in way? Now, if you want to debate some more differences, some, there's some. not much more to talk about. But as far as nationalities are concerned, there are some people, there's some extreme cases, some people in certain parts of the world whose either 
genetics um, kind of have them standing out in, in, in a, a certain way so that you know that this person is from a certain place. For example, there's a there's a there's a race of not race, but there's a group of people in Polynesia. They're not a race, but they're a group of people in Polynesia. And this has happened over the past, I think, four or five hundred years. Um, they live on the water. They live on right. the water. So right? They grow fins. So they <laughs> they probably will in the next couple of hundred years. They might grow fins. <laughs> they might grow fins in the next in the next thousand years. They might oh, grow fins. Right. They might right. But the point is they can hold their breaths for up to four minutes, five minutes, six minutes. And these are young, like young kids can do this. Yeah. Because crazy. they they yeah. free dive all day. All, all day, day spare, yeah. they spare fish all day. You know what I'm saying? Right. And so they they've been passing that on for for over two or three hundred years. They've been passing that on from generation to generation. That's how they eat. That's how they survive. So right. their lung capacity is different. Their their liver may be slightly different. Their heart sizes may be slightly different. Things like that. Right. You understand what I'm saying? So 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 extreme cases like those, you can say, oh, this person is probably from this from this tribe. Definitely in genetics, you can look at some of uh, right. persons from African descent. Some of us have right. certain jaw structures that are that are believed to be from certain tribes, things like that. But that's not nationality. Nationality is a social construct because you can find somebody with my jaw structure or my, my, uh, my, 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 uh, if we do the gene, what do you call it? The DNA thing. DNA, we call it right, genetic, uh, genetic. We um, do that DNA thing, you know, the one you send right. in by mail and you get it back. And they tell you, you 60%. And they say, I'm from this tribe, I'm from that tribe. Well, you'll right. find, people, you'll find <laughs> persons from the other tribe in Canada, in the United States, and in, 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 in the UK, you'll find them everywhere. So and what I'm saying is that's genetics, that's science. But nationality is a social mm. construct. The only thing that's differentiating yeah, yeah. from those people is the fact that some words on a paper we decided to agree with, and that's it. I wanted to oh, make sorry, an example. Sorry, 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 one more thing. The location of where we were born. I'm sorry. Right. That, that's the other thing that differentiates, def, differentiates us, where we were born. Let's get into the fun stuff, man. Mm -hmm. Check this out. Citizen duties. Number one. Citizen, Say it again. Citizen on, duties. You have duties, Dyson? You have duties? You have you have flipping duties, my boy. You don't just wake that. up or born here and then automatically. Now, these aren't by law. Like, you're not going to get arrested if you don't do these things. Well, okay. actually, yes. The duties you will get, you can get arrested if you don't do some of these things. But there are some responsibilities that you don't get arrested for. Um, here's the thing. that Number one is obeying the law. Okay. <laughs> okay. So big one. Here's the second okay. one, paying taxes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hold on. That's your duty. Hold on now. Flipping duties. Wait, you you want to be drunk by the time you finish on this one. <laughs> Hold on now. Hold on. Yeah, you can be agony and, and, another, another cup. And, and Kent, you did this one. Defending the nation. It's a duty. It's a duty. duty. <laughs> um, Serve in court, another okay. duty. Serve in court, and here's here's one. And these is these are this is just generalization. General. Each nation has their different responsibilities. I don't think this this responsibility. Actually, it is by law. You must attend school. Really? That yes. That's why that's why we can't turn away undocumented children from our school system. Hmm. Because by right. law, they must. 10 points, 10 points for Dyson. I didn't know that. Yeah, I didn't know hello. that. Hello. 20 points and, for him. And it's also the same with healthcare, which is another reason why we can't turn away people from. I knew that. And you, you would know this. Yeah, you would know this. So, so, so those are the duties. Before I go into the responsibilities now, how y'all feel about these duties? Because for me, I'm thinking, number one, there's a whole lot of people who's screaming about being Bahamian or being whatever, who don't obey the law? Boy. <laughs> Straight up. Straight up. So if I say prove your citizenship and you got a record. <laughs> <laughs> you know, 
Um, <laughs> it, well, it's a good thing that it's a good thing. I don't know if this is in the law. C- can you can your citizen can your citizenship be revoked if you're um, born no, somewhere? No, no, but your 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 liberties of citizenship can be removed. That's when you're in prison. Um, okay. But even then, they still have to give you health care, and they can't stop you from educating yourself. So, right. but 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 here's here's the thing when we talk about lawbreakers and being citizens, I know this from from old history lessons. When when British had a whole bunch of criminals in in Britain, mm-hmm. they they exiled them to the Americas. Right. So they 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 make them they push them out. Now we, for reason of of um, imperialism, you know, um, Britain had America um, as a part of their nations or conquests for a very long time. And back in the 1700s, I think they did, they got their um, independence, right? Um, and then they became something else. But that, that's, I didn't even want to get into that side of the story because they meet some people here. So I. <laughs> and I they meet some people yeah, every day. Thank you, thank you, time. Yeah, yeah. Let me let me leave that part alone. So, so people who don't who don't obey the law, you can't get into into the argument of of who is an organic, um, Bahamian or organic anything, because you yourself don't have a right to your citizenship because you were not obeying the law. Another thing is if you ain't paying taxes. So I want to tell every Bahamian, especially for the Bahamians, if you Duck customs coming through the airport. <laughs> <laughs> hey, shout out, shout out to Janine Brand. She just said inclusive of custom duty. She just said that. Inclusive, exactly. Uh-huh. Inclusive of custom duty. If you duck customs in the airport because you ration uh and figure out which receipt you're gonna yeah. you're gonna show them and which items you're gonna claim. And you spend the night before coming home popping loan tags off of tanks, you are not doing your duty as a citizen. <laughs> you need to stay out of the conversation. <laughs> right? Yeah. Look here. But but I think I think I never do that. I've been, I've been, I've been, I've been almost every continent. <laughs> I've been, I've, I haven't been to Africa and and I haven't been to Africa or Australia yet. By the way, the UK used to send prisoners to Australia. Remember, Australia was a jail. Mm. Right. Pretty much yeah. But um, but um, I've never seen the process we have to go through to clear customs, like for items, custom duties. I've never seen that anywhere else. Even in the Caribbean, like when I when I travel, mm. when I go to other countries in the Caribbean, and I have stuff in my bag, mm. and they're like, "Do you, did you buy anything?" I'm like, "Yeah." They're like, "Okay," mm. and I'm like, "Okay." I, yeah, I know. I know they do it. So, I know what I'm saying in, in coming, go ahead. No, what I'm, what I'm saying is though, that I think that process is part of being Bahamian. Hmm. There you go. Now, now, now we can debate about what is again, what is social, and what is I guess legal. Legal. Because you're talking, right. you're talking about you're talking about your obligation as a Bahamian, right? Your your no responsibility. Right. Your your duties. Duties. Your duty. But I think I think ducking customs. It's is cultural. a Bahamian tra- is a Bahamian tradition, bro. That's 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 cultural. Yeah, that's that's it's our Bahamian culture. Tradition. That's our way of life. Absolutely. Yes. I mean, the officers, customs officers expect that. Like they don't even get mad no more. Yeah. <laughs> sometimes, <laughs> they sometimes, they sometimes they if they want mad. to, they, they might hold mad. somebody in the dance. If your face all screw up and you come onto the table, they might hold you in the dance. But other than that. They don't really say, worry, say hold you in the dance. Yeah, but you get hold in the dance. <laughs> I, I've seen, I've to, seen I, women. I, listen, I I've, seen, I've seen women come through with with multiple bags of stuff still of in the. They they didn't even they didn't even take the stuff out the packaging, bro. And will stand there straight face and be like, "I buy that." <laughs> that is Bahamian. That is as Bahamian as you can get, bro. That 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 is that is that is uniquely that is uniquely Bahamian. Nowhere True. else in the world does that happen. Nowhere else in the world. That's uniquely Bahamian, bro. I own that. Let's <laughs> say that ain't no culture. <laughs> That's having no culture. Oh, Lord. My goodness. I'm talking about straight face, bro. Straight, straight face. face. I feel you. I feel you. <laughs> so so we look at paying taxes, and, and, and we could dig deeper into each one of these. Because, of course, obeying the law 
um, uh, make sure that everyone's safe, that every everything is is moving, um, everything chill. You know, we don't have no big combustion throughout the whole nation. We have order. You understand? So Sorry. when we start, so and 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 that and that has to do with 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 defending the nation too, because you don't want a chaotic country. Who does? So every individual, every citizen has a duty to ensure that the country remains remain safe. Well, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me tap on this. Mm -hmm. Do you think that in the culture that we're in right now, do you think it's a citizen's duty to tell on another person when a crime is taking place? Any crime. Now, we're not talking about Hold on now, let me, let me specify. Heinous, heinous crime. Mm -hmm. Let, let me ahead. specify. You know, rape, murder, that, that, you know, molestation. That's a given. Absolutely. I, even, I, you know, okay. I would think, I would think yeah. even the roughest of criminals would come forward on something like that. But I'm talking about little, well, like, no crime is really minor, but you know what I'm saying. I'm talking about, you. you know, if you see something happen, do you think you as a citizen should tell? <laughs> on that next man no i think but no, you you don't go and tell nobody but let's say somebody run the red light it's yeah. your duty as a citizen to case them out if you see somebody <laughs> throw yeah you gotta case them out if, if if somebody throw something out the window some trash or some garbage at the window it's your duty as a citizen yeah. to case them yeah. out no yeah, i do that them out. yeah I do you, that. you don't you, you tell them don't don't do that you understand but you're, you're, you you're, 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 you're an angry driver I am an angry driver. Yes, you're an angry driver. So that's the, that's a given. I, I, I get road rage. I get road rage. I, I do. <laughs> but the trash thing, though, is a whole different story because I feel like, and they, sh they should put that somewhere in the responsibilities or the obligations. They should put this somewhere. It should be your duty to keep the country clean. Yes, that that, that should be that should be our duty. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. because, Absolutely. Because I mean, us being the type of country that we are. Dependent yeah. on dependent on our, our natural resources like we do, mm -hmm. it should be a jailable offense. And I, and I understand to some degree it is a jailable offense to throw trash on the ground. But mm -hmm. the, the stuff I've seen, man, I've seen somebody throw a whole, you know, the old CRT monitors, like the big monitors, computer monitors. Yeah. I've, seen just, like... I've seen someone just toss that, like, in, in the, like, at Monarchy Beach, like, just toss it in the water and just leave it there. Yeah. For but you already know. You already Plus, know why it's really not like that took place, bro. That is crazy. You already you know why it's place. Okay. You have to not make so much easy. effort to go past all type of garbage, all type of bins. You have to make so much yeah, effort passport. to bro, go to the sea passport. and toss bro. it in the sea. Here's the thing, though. You already know why things like that happen, man, because the laws are not enforced. We, we touched on that about, you know, three weeks ago. The laws are not enforced on littering. I mean, you know, we would think that, you know, it should be enforced, but even just, let's be honest, even the, even I want to say more than three quarters of the police force don't even take that particular offense serious. Yeah. So if they don't take it serious, they're not going to pull you over or, you know, write you up a fine for that. So that's why the people yeah. do it. They do it because they get away with it. That, it's sad, you know. Hey, hey, let's 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 um touch the responsibility, um because I found that the first one that I that that came to mind was very interesting, and that is the responsibility to be informed and vote. Mm -hmm. In, let's in two let's, parts. Let's first let's let's define let's define what's the responsibility. Well, okay, responsibility. You can't, you can't, you can't, right? If I recall properly, though. Um, this discussion similar to this took place in the group me and you are both in, like a week and a half ago, and and you ain't on no list, bro, so you can't vote. <laughs> <laughs> if I recall properly, you ain't on no list, Dr. Kent well, was on, so you well, can't well, vote. Well, Period. Don't mind, if he's, repeating, so, he's repeating what somebody said who was very misinformed. <laughs> somebody, who was, somebody who was extremely misinformed. Oh, there's a lot of people who misinformed. <laughs> so mm, that, that's what I'm people. saying. But this is the point you're making, Dyson. 
A lot right. of people are misinformed. Informed. So what is, let's define what responsibility is. What is responsibility? Because you're people think be that- You're not going to be arrested for it. Uh -huh. it it's, you're not going to be arrested for it if you don't do it as a citizen. As a citizen, it's no, your responsibility, no, no. but if I you mean, don't do it, you won't be arrested. Oh, no, oh, man, I mean, basic, basic, meaning, basic, basic, okay. you're teaching your child right. what is responsibility. What would you tell your child? What would you yes, say to your child? That, that's, that's, um, delivering, showing up for your commitment. It's a commitment, your responsibility. It's a commitment. Right. It's you, on you, you to do it, right? It's, it's on something you. that's on yeah. you to do. Yes. It's on you. It's on That's what responsibility basically means. It's on you, right? Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. finish, yeah. finish what you're saying now. What the responsibility right. is? To be informed and vote. Now oh, we had the, so it's, it's on you then. On to be me. informed. <laughs> you point yeah. at me, right? Yeah. On me. You know what I'm saying, bro? It's yeah. on you to be informed. It's on right? me to read. It's on me to ask questions. It's on oh. me to lobby for debates. It's on me to oh. attend the debates. It's on okay. me to, to, to listen, to go to the campaigns and listen. It's this right. on me. It's my responsibility to be informed. It's on me right. to even do some research into the character of the person that are putting themselves out up for, for election. Um, there you go. Because another responsibility is to serve, right? So yeah. so so to be to be informed and vote. But the on vote is what really get got me because we came out of an, an election that had the lowest voter turnout in history. And yet, and yet, we are having so much noise being made about who is an organic Bahamian. We just had an election, let me repeat it, an election that had the lowest voter turnout in history. Less than half the population. And it was still a landslide. And it was still a well, landslide. That's not a story. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but but my thing is we are still we are still having a debate and 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 having to have protest or people feeling to protest about the Bahamas being for organic Bahamians. But like Salindan said, if you don't fight for it, then you 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 don't you don't deserve to have it. And I feel yeah. as though they were fight they were trying to fight for it. So I don't give them any wrong for for fighting for a thing, but. Your bottles need to be, your bottles need to make sense. Correct. Right? It ain't make no sense. You as a fighter, you as a former MMA champion, if I put my head, if I go on a ring with a killer, with a train killer, with his hands, and I put my head down like this, and I start getting like this, what will happen to me? <laughs> you, you, you don't, don't yeah. reach on it, but... <laughs> <laughs> Right. After people, after people finish laughing at me, right? <laughs> what this fighter could do to me? You, you're gonna be, you're gonna, you're gonna open your eyes. And you're gonna be looking at the lights. Exactly. So That's it really funny. does. It makes absolutely no sense for you to just go in swinging in a fight with trained professionals. Yeah. Because what's gonna happen is you can have all kind of pictures of yourself, like what exactly? Yeah, but all kind of pictures of of yourself inside the newspaper with, with, with you looking away, not like, not like my Martin Luther King look, but you know, different. You can look, yeah. I don't want to say foolish because I do respect their fight and, and, and their cause and their reason. But I, I think that if you want to create change, you have to train. Mm -hmm. And instead of going in like this, you need to go in like this. Well, my 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 problem, my problem. Right, right? I don't want to stray too far from the point, but my my, my problem again. Why the term annoys like me? This. <laughs> it's more like this, right? <laughs> why, the term, why the why the term why the term annoys me? Because I think it's very divisive, and it's 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 not constructive. All right, if you wanna if you wanna talk about legal and illegal, that's a different conversation. That's a totally different conversation about a person that's here legally and a person that's here illegally. You understand what I'm saying? And every Haitian that's here is not here illegally. My father was right. brought here by the, by the British Empire. The Queen sent him here. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? And, right. he, he, and, he came, and, and ironically, he came here and worked for immigration. Talk that <laughs> ish. Talk how, that ironic, ish. how ironic is that? Right? So mm -hmm. 
So he worked at immigration. Another another nice piece of irony is you're saying, remember you said it's our obligation to pay taxes. So me, who who they who, who they would want to say is not an organic Bahamian and fully paid up on all my taxes. I ain't gonna lie, I may, I, I may have forgotten to pay the full duty a few times, but because I have a lawyer, I have as, there's a lawyer watching the show, so I have to be careful. But um <laughs> but, 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 as long but, as in the police, you straight. So 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 but I'm saying is all my all my real property tax and all my other taxes are fully paid up. And you know who makes sure of that? My non behaving wife makes sure that I'm fully paid up Hold on up. all of my taxes every single hey, year. Hey, press the button. Press the button. He just bust like five on that he one. Just I just shut it. Yeah, yeah. Say yeah. that part again. Who who ensures that your taxes as as a duty, not a responsibility, as a duty, duty. as a human citizen, a met, me, duty is met. Because many times, and, I, and she and she can hear this. Many times I've said to her, "Why do I have to pay this? Do, why are you taking my money to do? Why can't we do that with the money?" I ask them and they're supposed to be free. Mm. <laughs> and she said, "No, pay your taxes." So I wow. pay my taxes. My non behaving yeah. wife, make sure I pay my taxes. By the way. By the way, she's no longer she's no longer non Bahamian. She's now mm. a citizen. Mm. She ain't organic. She ain't organic. She ain't organic. She ain't organic. <laughs> but she's she, she's a citizen. Mm -hmm. So so that's why I have a problem. That's why I have a problem with the whole term because you divide you you're alienating people like me. You're telling me the person who literally said to me that I'm a fake Bahamian. That's what they said. That's what the person mm. said. That I'm a fake yeah. man. Me now. Yeah, you. <laughs> fake I find that hilarious. He's hilarious. Fake, <laughs> hold on, but hold on, hold on, hold on. Who is in the national, the national, the Bahamas national choir and the national U choir? National. What, what else he was doing? The, bro, the I represent show. this. I represent this country on five yeah. continents. I represent this country on five continents, bro. Don't, 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 don't ever try to tell me that I'm not a real baby. Don't ever try that. That, that, that that's fighting words. That's you're really hey, you're not <laughs> Gandhi. You understand what I'm saying? Hey, and and you have to get emotional with things like that, you know? And that's I why do, I'm saying I you can't be careless with those statements. People, so and, and, and I feel as though a lot of term, people... The term is to be on the crash. Yeah, Literally. they carelessly go around throwing this, throwing this statement out, not knowing that they have no... They can't hold a candle to the, to the amount of representation we bring to the table when it comes to yeah. being the Bahamian. Let me add on. Let me add on to that for a second, gents. Y'all, y'all got to. Well, people have to understand this too. The main people that's trying to bring this stupid topic across, organic behavior or whatever, right? These are the main people that, when it's time to elect a new prime minister, they don't show up. They don't vote. You know, you gotta understand that. Minds of some of these people. That's a time to party. That's an event. You understand? Seriously. That's why they don't show up there for the reasons to do what it's supposed to do. Please this is time for let's hide drunk and drink, act stupid, you know, yes. wear a bunch of t-shirts, laugh yes. and joke. Please. Right, please right or wrong. I'll, 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 I'll one up you one. When it's What's time, that? when it's time right. to You're when right. it's time to when it's time to put in work promoting or serving the country, that's yeah. when you don't you don't see them. All right. I, I, hey, my brother, you, you beat me. I was just about to go to that same... I was segueing into that same point. Right off all the point three, I was making. All, 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 three in there. Us, all three of us have experience in the performing arts of being performers yeah. and representing the country on different levels. All three of us have that experience. All three yeah. of us yes. know about the music, the, the yeah. Bahamian music industry. You didn't want to go there today, hey, Dyson? Boy, <laughs> I, really didn't, I, didn't, I had no plans to go in there. <laughs> let's go there. Let's, but hey, you're, you're talking about, you're talking about Bahamian, right? We're talking about yeah. Bahamian. Let's talk about Bahamian. Okay, let's talk about how we ignore and neglect Bahamian music and culture and Absolutely. Bahamian artists when they try when they try to promote our country. Yet you want to talk about organic Bahamian. So where where are you? Where are you? Where are you when they having um when they having art exhibit when these artists having their art exhibition? Do you buy any artwork from these artists? Do you no. support these artists when they have their concert? No. Do you buy their do you buy their albums or do you buy no. No offense, no. Lil Wayne, Lil, no. Lil Wayne, Lil whoever, Lil whoever album. Do you support these guys? 
Huh? They will claim, they will claim, they will claim, I'm gonna say it back. Yeah. They will claim ahead, Beyonce man. before they claim you. They will claim Beyonce oh. between before they claim Ooh-wee. Dyson Knight or Seven Sign. Ooh-wee. And that's absurd. That is absurd. No, this is no disrespect to Beyonce. She's beautiful, great talent. But Let she's me... she, she is if she, if anybody in organic behavior is her. Okay? But they will but they will support her. <laughs> they will promote her. I will be quiet right now. I'm gonna be she's quiet. Another, right she's, she's one cousin. <laughs> they'll, they'll, they'll support her and they'll promote her before they support you guys tonight, <laughs> who all over the world with Bahamian doing an excellent job promoting the country. Thank you. Mm-hmm. When you come back here, you you know you know understand what I'm saying? You're like you you they, nobody know who you not no not nobody know who you are. But you don't no, 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 no. They, they know they, listen, bro, bro. They know they know they, they know exactly who he is. Generally the, the, the thing, right. The, the thing oh, is, God, the thing is, let me let me go there now. Look, I, I, I got the ball, Ken. Thank you for throwing it this way. Yeah. <laughs> listen, they know exactly who Dyson is, you know. The problem is they have a problem with supporting him because they don't want him to one up them, and that makes sense. He's bro, your own people, rapidly. your own people in your own circle that won't support you. That's right, that's Fox. And that's come and listen, this information. See, a lot of people may not know when, when, when I first started music, we probably saw music at the same time, Dyson. But when I was coming up, Ken can tell you this too. Bro, we when we came up. You know what they tell us? Man, you're all trying to rap like American dudes. You're all trying to do this. You're all trying to do it. We got every push back. Except, congratulations, you're all dope, mm. bro. We, 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 and, and out of the whole crew, right? I was the only one that actually had to fly out. Hold, right. hold on to the dream, bro. Right. I flew out. Made that happen. Yeah. You understand that? Yeah. And I could, bro, I could remember this, bro. I could remember like this was yesterday before I got out of the game. When I was making a little noise over here in the U.S., bro, a certain, man, the hell with it, 94, 94.9. I call, I call him, whatever. More FM, whatever. Who's, who's under new, new management now, so it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> you, can, you can talk about anyway, anyway, There's a new one now. They, they dope. Bro, Go ahead. They called me exclusively, bro. How they got my number, I don't even know. And they asked me if I interested in coming home and doing a show. I told them, sure, no problem. They still like that. They still like but hold that. on. Paul, watch this though. I say, sure, mm-hmm. no problem. Now keep in mind now, I touring all over the place with Wu Tang Clan, bro. Big. Getting paid. Yeah. China, Europe, all over the place. They asked me if I could come home. I said, yeah, sure, I'll come home and show love. Then they hit me with the price how much it's going to cost me to do it. You believe that? Cost you? Uh, me. It's going to cost me like, like they're doing me a favor. Okay. Okay. I don't understand that. So You don't understand that? that that's, that's the old management. They are the new management now. That's all I can say, bro. You, you, must, see, you must see work for 94.9. <laughs> No, I tell you, I, I I know I know one of the I know one of well the main radio personality and and he's in management there, um, Big L. He that boy he he got sense. He manages Bodin. He used to manage MDs. So MD. so you know he 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 got plenty of sense. And you see, you see, but bro, the, but the around the time when he was, was coming up, yeah, MDs was, was they were keeping around. Right. I was right. going to say one. I was going to say one. Um. I think that th- things improve a lot. Things change a lot from 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 then. Things change a lot. It's, it's a lot that, better now. Like you, you could have you could have a Rick and Scrape concert now. You couldn't do that in no. the early two thousands. No, all to the school. farm. They just no. just you know turn up you know, yesterday. You know what I mean? you know, so, party. Things things change a lot, and I'm I'm happy for that. But what I'm saying is, we still don't get the support we should get. No. These, no. these 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 artists. When I say behemoth artists, I don't mean just music. You know, I mean overall. Somebody just asked me the other day, what happened to the Dundas? Yeah. What happened, what happened to the National Center for Performing Arts? Like, what happened to it? What happened to performing arts in this country? Artists used to have gigs. More than, I had just, not more than just John Canoe. I had talking about 15 guys playing John Canoe. That, that's a great gig. That's fine. But artists used to have gigs as far as going dance this place. You know, they, they got to dance tonight. They got to play drums tonight. They got to perform. They got to do this. They got to do that. I'm saying... 
what happened to all of that? You know what happened to it? Because, because it ain't worse because the people who come here want to see it. That's what they want to see. They don't want you to drag them up and down Dowsville Street. They want to see Bahamian stuff. They want to see Bahamians doing Bahamian stuff. What, the, funny what, the, part though, Ken, the funny part about it, though, the funny part about it, though, even when you get an artist in the Bahamas that try to step away and make money for himself, someone, some way, got to come in and shut it down and try to monetize it. Not yeah. monetize it for him now. Monetize it for them. Yeah. Yeah. So good evening. Good evening, Lakendra. So one, one one of those one of those <laughs> good evening, Ms. Robin. One, one of those one of those obligations, Dyson. Uh, some obligations. It should be in the law. A responsibility or obligation, whatever it is, should uh-huh. be to support Bahamian art and culture. Bay. That should be that should be a responsibility. I would it should I, be, see here's here's the thing now. See, you didn't you didn't force me down this tunnel. So let me let me go down this tunnel since you want me to go down this tunnel. And this is something that I've been an advocate for for, for many years now. My sentiment is that the Bahamas is a nation encompassing all things, all things that a nation should have. When it comes to art and entertainment, we have a government that supports artists and entertainers but we seem to focus on one area. We mm-hmm. seem to focus on, and, 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 and okay, so we have the Ministry of, of Youth Sports and Culture, right? So we have that culture department. Now the culture department isn't only supposed to ensure that, you know, Bahamians are familiar with Junkanoo, with Rake and Scrape, with, with, with this type of painting, with this type of drawing, with, with, with you know, with this type of architecture, um, they are responsible to ensure uh, of ensuring that the Bahamian people are a cultured people, are a cultured people. So that means that we are we are we are familiar with with with. I'm speak from a music perspective that we are familiar with orchestral music, the orchestra. We're we're familiar with with jazz. We're familiar with rock. We're familiar with all genres of music because we wanna be cultured. When people come into our country, we, we as a cultured people, we can speak to them on any level. As a cultured right. people, you see what I'm saying? We, pe- the rest of the world don't see us as being ignorant because we have a ministry of culture that ensures that we are a cultured people. You see what I'm saying? So, yeah. so and, 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 you would, and there's an argument that always they always say, Oh, Bahamian music is rake and scrape and junk and and this is the music that we should push. I agree, we should push that, but it doesn't mean alienate our Bahamian rappers. Yeah. Our Bahamian R&B singers, our, our Bahamian artists that sing other genres of music, because all of them create this, this independent nation where we don't need to rely on anything from anybody else. We don't need other rappers from, from the other place because we have cultivated our own. We don't need rock and roll singers from other islands because or other nations because we've cultivated our own. And that we've built, we built our citizenry. We build a lot of a lot of places like Canada, open their doors more quickly for persons that have skills. Same thing with America, for people that have yeah. skills that they don't have in, in, in abundance in their country. And yeah. that's how foreigners get in. And we look at what we do at home and we talk about citizenship and how strong our citizenry is. We lack a lot of things and we end up bringing in people who specialize in certain things. And because we are busy fighting about who Haitian and who Jamaican and who Cuban and who all these other people who get in illegally, we just have people who come in as doctors who could do who, sports physicians, foreigners, and, and, and stand in, in capacities that you know you can do, Kim. Yeah, we have yeah. entertainment managers at, at different hotels that, that are foreigners that are doing the jobs that we can do. And, and, it, and simply it's because we cannot, we cannot prove our citizenship, <laughs> our, our, how strong we are as a citizen. We have a lot of Bahamians that, are, that we don't give them the opportunity to lead the way that they lead in foreign nations. Why the hell one in Key, Key West doing flooring? Why in the dude? Why didn't he get the, the 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 you know? I mean, they call you for the job. 
But why aren't you the leading flooring person inside the freaking Bahamas? You understand what I'm saying? And, and, and to me, that's what gets me annoyed with the whole conversation about who is Bahamian or who is the citizen, who is that? Like, what are you contributing to ensure that you have the strongest nation? Yeah. You feel me? The, 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 I feel you, the, 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 those two mm -hmm. nations that you mentioned, Canada uh, and the United States, and, and more recently, Canada, is, Canada has like gone all in with this stuff. Like you said, um, you know, Canada kind of just open up the red carpet and say, "Listen, man, oh, yeah. if you if you skilled, if you want to leave your country and you skilled, we want you come." Oh, yeah. Yeah. That yeah. So uh, now, even now, now they're they're heavily taxed, heavily, heavily taxed. Oh, yeah. I, I, I call it's them a duty. communism, bro. They, they're like pseudo communism. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a no duty, though. Yeah, it's a pseudo. <laughs> it's a pseudo communism they got up there, right? But but nevertheless. Um, you know, it works pretty decent for Canada, pretty much. And um, but what I'm saying is instead what I always felt like instead of us doing doing the we talked about slavery last week, but but we shouldn't be doing the slave mentality thing and fight our own people. Instead, we should see how we can work with our people, like you said, to develop our country and develop our nation. Instead of trying to figure out, well, this ain't my, this ain't really my people. This ain't really my people. No man, if they hear, and everything that you yeah. outlining that that the responsibilities the and duties, and they doing the, the duty, paying taxes, right? That's a right. That's, mm -hmm. that's defending the nation. Where, where, where you finish, bro? Finish that off. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> All right. Let me. Let me. Let's just. Let's just. Let's just, let's just go ahead. So, Hold on. So let me let me throw this question there here too from, from y'all too. Um referring to the Haitian population in, in, in Nassau, right? Mm -hmm. Would you guys agree or disagree? And this is a question I'm just asking. Would you agree or disagree that the majority of jobs that's available culturally, organically? So I plug that right there. Yeah. <laughs> in Nassau. Mm -hmm. And a Haitian person would work that job. Right? Because for whatever reasons, do you think that the organic Bahamian would take that job on? You want to sound like that question? What type of yeah, job I, you said? I, I told, it, doesn't matter, it doesn't matter what type of job if you ain't employed. If you ain't employed, it shouldn't matter what type of job. Fact is, work is work. The reason why I ask is because a lot of times when when, when that question you ask comes up, we're mm -hmm. talking about you're talking about uh, menial labor, right? Okay. Talking okay. Let, 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 let me even cut it down. Okay. Let's say. Let, see, I, I've been I've been I, I visit Nassau once in a while, but I've been gone for over twenty years. From from my memory, let's just say you need your yard to be cut. I don't know if that still goes on. Does that still go on over there? Of course. Okay. Yeah. Now let me ask you something. Is a is a organic Bahamian willing to do that now if they need a job? Or do they leave that or do they leave that organic duty to the organic patient? This is embarrassing one. I, it's, it's a question. It's very. It's embarrassing that you ask me this question. I have to answer you, right? Go ahead. But the but from and 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 don't don't hold me. I won't call. I just won't call any names. I might know yeah. that the majority of contractual agreements or, or contracts mm -hmm. for landscaping that yeah. is given or re, or awarded to persons through the government. Yeah. The only Bahamian that's a part of that company is the one that signs the contract. Everybody else mm -hmm. is either documented from yeah. another country or maybe not so very much there yet in documentation. Okay. Right. right. So, so, so here we have it again. Right? Mm -hmm. You're asking a question. 
are these jars being filled in by the Hamans? No. So, but, but, so but exactly. This, but, but, but this okay. is, this is the, re and I wanted to go to this after Kent said what he said. Um, the reason being is that, and, and we have to look at the reality of what life is like now. The cost of living in the Bahamas, we like, is it the third most expensive place to live in the world? Right? We wanted the most expensive places to live in the world. Right? So a salary has to make sense in order for you to put in that, that work effort. Now, I ain't talking about the lazy people who just don't want work. Mm -hmm. Right? I'm mm -hmm. talking about the fact that the cost of living is so high that you can't live the life that a Bahamian should live, like Americans that say, um, uh, what, what do they say? We, you, you should know one. Help me out. They say, uh, the American dream. Hey, hey, the American Dyson, dream. Dyson, Dyson, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm an organic Bahamian. Go ahead. Oh, sorry. So the Bahamian dream, you can't live the Bahamian dream on a salary as a landscaping uh, employee, maybe as a landscaping employer, right? Um, okay. um, you can live, you can live the dream. So ain't no Bahamians taking that job because it's so what's, okay. for them. So what's the next, okay. So if ain't no Bahamians taking that job, right? What's the next best option? Do nothing. Complain. Complain. Boy, let's say when you complain, you stay the same. <laughs> when you complain, you stay the same. But, they, right? but that's what's they, happening. Well, they they complain about. What's that, Ken? Let me ask you something, one. How many of our teachers in high school was Bahamian? None. Not that, I, not that I saw. Well, in our class, you didn't. You didn't have. You didn't have Ms. Rowe. We had Ms. Rowe. You didn't I have Ms. Rowe. Rowe. So no. we had. We had one, maybe, maybe two, maybe two total. Mm -hmm. That was. Oh, and then Reverend Smith. So three. Reverend Smith. So, there you go. So the, brother, point is, the point is. The point is. Ninety to ninety-five percent of our teachers were were foreigners, right? Now I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to say. What what the point I'm trying to make is. Foreigners contribute to what makes the Bahamas in certain yes. form or fashion. And I'm not talking about let us, I'm not talking about illegally or persons that are here illegally. All right. But foreigners contribute to to, to our country in many different ways. Foreigners contribute to every country, bro. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Every country. Exactly. exactly. So yeah. why 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 are we even talking about and you wanna and you wanna know what to prove a point, right? About, to prove to prove a point. The point. I know the answer. When 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 they was going through the whole Black Lives Matter a couple of years ago, right? When when Donald Trump was you know coming into power or whatever, right? And when they had all of the illegal illegal immigrants over here, or just you know people from Mexico, when they had a strike, right? The whole right. citrus, which is oranges, grapefruit, that whole entire industry took a big fall. Mm, right here that. in Florida. You want to know why? Mm -hmm. Because the only people willing to go out there in the hot sun and pick those and package them and manufacture them was those immigrant people. I know what it proved to a lot of people here in America. All of the BS you talk, at the end right. of the day, you need these Fast. people to keep things rolling. So, so here, here now, let me be the advocate for the other side. The other side of this is we don't mind an undocumented, an illegal uh, uh, migrant working these jobs. Fine, you get a job. I don't want to do it. You could have it. All right. Where we have a problem, and where not we, where there is a problem, is when the undocumented people start using the resources, using up the resources of a nation. So when, when you have to stand on the back of a line of 20 people, when they only take in seeing 19 in a day, and the 19 in front of you in organic Bahamian, it's a problem. When, you, when you're trying to get your child a seat in a classroom, and the, the, the classroom only seats 25 people, and, and your child is the 26th person, and you see five or six People who who look like they could hold their breath for five or six minutes, <laughs> um, in, in the classroom, you, you decide that you know there's a problem. I feel I feel like you I feel like you combine in two things. We're not yeah. talking when we're talking about again, Bahamian versus organic Bahamian, right? Right. So we're not talking about illegally documented people. People like you said have not completely okay. gone through the okay. proper protocols. 
Okay. To establish it, what, what are, are they a citizen or not? That's a whole different story. So you remove the argument that they're not that they're not legal, but you remove the argument that they're not organic. So here's the thing: there's there's a there is hold on, I I got some notes. There's a route towards where you can apply to be a Bahamian citizen. There's whole legal permanent residency for four uh, for ten years. Reside right. for seven years minimum after after applying. So there's six years plus the year you apply. You have to correct right. that one too. Um, so there's um, born in in the Bahamas after the 9th of July 1973 to non Bahamian parents. If you born in the Bahamas after the 9th of July 1973 to non Bahamian parents, you can apply for citizenship. These are only right. which you, who are eligible to to apply. Um, a female spouse of a Bahamian can apply. The child of a Bahamian can apply. You born here, but your children are, are um, you're, you're organic Bahamian, but you have a child that is from, for, from a Haitian who is not Bahamian. You can, they, your children can apply. Um, mm -hmm. And then be born in the Bahamas is, is, is the last criteria. And right. And, and those are people that can apply for citizenship. But my thing is, the people who, like, like me, whereas I've never had an issue with immigration, um, and I'm quarter Bayesian. My grandfather is from Barbados, and, and my mom, my grandmother is from Cat Island. So ain't nobody, got to, nobody could say anything about my Grammy being from Cat Island, because that's they, they fighting where the Cat Island or San Salvador was the point of discovery. So Cat Island is big thing, right? And Cat Island is the rake and scrape capital of the, of the Bahamas. So you know, buddy, good, good talk with my, once I say my, oh, my Grammy from Cat Island, oh, okay, leave him alone, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> but, but, there, but all, of the, all of the other people, and this is why it's so important to me. It's so important that, <laughs> all right, let me, let me boost this up a little bit. The Bahamas, Nassau is overpopulated. The Bahamas is underpopulated, especially Correct. with specialties, right? Correct. Um, um, we need more citizens. And we have a lot of undocumented Bahamians because they've been there all their life, right? They've been there basically, they've been there 20, 30 years, even if they've been there all their life. My thing is, instead of argue, making this argument, how can we turn this around? Yeah, yeah, yeah. how you know, Fee? <laughs> um, how can we turn this around and make it beneficial to the country by ensuring that the, the not that we just give them um, um, citizenship, but we check them to see, hey, okay, well, have you been con contributing? To, have you been paying any taxes here? Have you been obeying the law here? beyond the fact that you, you got here illegally. We understand there's turmoil in Haiti. And let's just, let me touch on Haiti. A lot of Bahamians need to know this. We would not have freedom from, we would not be emancipated slaves if it were not for Haiti. And I'm talking about all black people all over the world. Mm -hmm. All, go, go check the history. Haiti is the, is, the, is the nation that started that when they booed out the French and they still suffering from it and still having to pay French back. The French, the, the French part. All right, so so let's move forward. So I, I want y'all to just ease up on on on, on Haitians. You know, um, yeah. Let's make the Bahamas great again by taxing everybody. We arguing about the people who ain't paying taxes on the lower end, but we have some billionaires who allowed to invest and reap money. Tax free. I'll tell you one thing: that hotel development app, where hotels can pretty much bring in everything they need to, to build their hotel, tax free. Wow. Now we need it because there's a whole lot of jobs that that we that we're positioning. I don't know why Bahama isn't in Andres, but anyway, let's move on. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm not. I'm not even. Listen, man. <clears throat> As, as a businessman, right? I'm I'm not I'm not I'm not I'm not hating on any businessman who come to this country of course. and and work and work the system and made money. 
You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Because we we always we always made money in the process. My my problem is before we talk about taxing them, which is fine, tax them, great. Or or you know, they should they should have to pay or contribute to the Bahamas in some form or fashion. They did it, they did a pretty decent job with Kersner and those guys, right? They had to build some parks and do some other stuff and and they're still doing stuff. So I mean, that's fine. But what I'm saying is, bro, we have organic Bahamians who owe tens of thousands of dollars or hundreds of thousands of dollars in BPL fees. Like, 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 come wow. on, man. Like, 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 come on, like, come on. Let's 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 get let's be real now. Wow. You understand what I'm saying? And these people walking free. Wow. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Wow. So, like, mm-hmm. you, like you said, is is. Um, is our obligation, is your responsibility. That's part of your responsibility as a citizen of the country is to pay not just your taxes, in my opinion, <laughs> but you, all your utilities and all your bills. That's your, that's your, that's your obligation. Because these that's are the things... No, that's pretty much, that's right. pretty much an, uh, 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 obligation of an adult. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, just being a grown up. <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> just being a grown up. Bunch yeah. of children running around now, so <laughs> but, 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 but these these guys and and I've, I've, I wouldn't have believed some of the stories if I hadn't seen the stuff myself. Some of these yeah, people man. collect checks of over a hundred grand a month. You know what I mean for, for for doing little little to no work. Yeah, like sitting yeah. on a board, sitting on a board, and, and nonsense like that. You, you understand what I mean? And these yeah. are these are again organic organic payments. And yet you have a bill sitting up for BPL for hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Man, that's crazy. That's absolutely Wait, that's crazy. Insane. That's you know insane. what I'm saying? So I can complain about the road all I want because I, you know what? Every year I pay my little one or two grand in real property tax. I pay that every single year. Right. So I can route. So I can route. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe, maybe, whether, they, whether they think I'm an organic behavior or not, I can route. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, the with the introduction of VAT and the fact that there's a gas tax, like everybody who really spending money on gas and food could route. You see what I'm you realize we had to realize the reason why we had to implement VAT, like the real oh, social. Absolutely. Movement. I think they should, I think they, I think we should have I don't <laughs> mind taxes. I love taxes. But when I am paying taxes, I don't expect. And and and, and hey, hey, I want to say right now. Even though I campaigned with the FNM in the last election, I am impressed with the way this PLP government is handling things so far of this term. My road, you know, all that rain we've been having, potholes being galore, right? But within a week, they've been filling them up. And it seems like it's just that with, with all of the, um, with all of the, what, what are they in a week, In a week leading up to the election? Or in a week after they got elected? No, no since, since they've been elected. It's been, what, two okay. years now? Okay. I, I can't remember. It's been, it's been the second year now. And, and my thing is they're doing such a great job with PR. Even the, the, the foolishness that they are doing, they, over, they, they overshadow it with, with just so much in your face. This is what we're doing. This is what we're doing. This is what we're doing. They're communicating so very well. That you don't have a time, you don't have time or any information as to what they're doing bad. We have to to go back on like it's like they literally have people. Anyway, that's not that's not the show. The show is, the show is, and if, if we bring it into the show, this government is just has just been um, um, targeted and pressured to address this issue of what is for Bahamians. And and we we owe that to to the to the to the guys in the in the um, the organization that demonstrated in Boston Square or in Parliament Square, right? Now people have been um, lobbying and debating this for, for a long time, but it's it's now back to where we are talking about it, and it'd be interesting, very interesting to know how they handle it. My opinion on handling the situation is like I was saying. Give amnesty. Let's do an mm-hmm. amnesty period. And let's ensure that we document everyone that's been here all their life, 20 years. Let's say, I don't know, call a number, 20 years or whatever. Tax them buggers, babe. Tax, <laughs> tax, <laughs> tax them. 
tax them, ensure that their records are clean, document them, and, and we, we do this, we do this, we do this once. It's an amnesty period. We ain't trying to deport you. You didn't be in here for 20 years. Why we need to deport you now when you've been here for 20 years? It don't make no sense. Now we won't have you. And we've been relying on you for 20 years. That makes absolutely no sense. Not, not only that, if they if they were in custody, then all that is is money down the drain. Money spent instead of money. You gotta, you, gotta, you, gotta, you gotta spend money to send them. Um, it's a big process to send to send them back. You know, I, I had no I wish it was much easier to do that. I wish you could just put them on a plane and just send them back. But no, one, it's but not one, that easy. It's not that easy. Right. Once they touch the soil, you can't just you, you can't just send them process. you can't just send them back. It's a whole process you gotta go through and and right. you know. The country is in turmoil. Talking about Haiti directly, the country is in turmoil. So it's not gonna it's not gonna be a smooth process. It's gonna be it's gonna be a rough process. So, so I, I agree with what you're saying. I think you're making a lot of sense, and I, I, I yeah. think that, and that's the point I'm making. Like the con, that, that's a financial contribution. And we're talking again. We're talking about undocumented persons becoming now documented. Right. Persons, Let's talk right? about document documented persons because you've been on that for a minute too. Documented, yeah. documented people have the responsibility and the duties too. Right, correct, right. correct. Absolutely. Actually, you know what? You know what? Sorry, I interrupted you. The hot topic is the undocumented. That that's that's been the focus, and that's the focus in many nations. The undocumented. How do we deal with undocumented? But non-citizens. This, this is how the argument is being corrupted. The argument is being corrupted. To make it seem like the the non organic non organic Bahamian equals undocumented, and that's not the case, because according to that, this is why I push for a definition of what is an organic Bahamian. Because according to the definition, you and I, Dyson, are, are not organic Bahamian. As a matter of fact, according to the definition, none mm -hmm. of us are organic Bahamians. Nobody on the solitary soil. Nobody on rocks. Nobody on any of these rocks are organic Bahamians. The organic Bahamians died a very long time ago. So very long. according to the definition that, that I was given by the persons who coined the term, none of us in this country are organic Bahamians. And this is the yeah. point I'm making. Bahamian is yeah. a, a nationality, is a social construct. It's a Balance. social construct. It's, 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 it's words on a paper that we all agree to. It's not, there's no biological markers for it. So, so taking your idea, which yeah. I think is a great one, and, and I think things along that line of, of train of thought, there should be a process. And I think, uh, I think Barack Obama uh, mentioned this in, in, in uh, one, of his, uh, one of his campaigns about creating a process and, and really becoming very good at that process of, Again, figuring out who these people are, the history, like you said, the background, giving them an amnesty period, make them pay a fee for it, or they could work it off. And then they transition into a documented person, whatever mm -hmm. you whatever we call them. But again, mm -hmm. let's not corrupt the arguments. They, and they tend to they 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 try to win persons to their cause by corrupting mm -hmm. the argument, by making it seem like the organic, the non-organic Bahamian are all the persons who came here illegally, and that's not true. Not yeah, according to the yeah. definition. Not according to their it's, definition. That's not true. Yeah, I, I see it. I, I think it's the devil because you know the devil deals with, with separation <laughs> and and like Tess is saying right now, and she's speaking to unity between um, um all exactly. the diaspora, one hundred percent, all the Caribbean nations, and and, and it really breaks down the unity. Um, and we could do better with it. But here's the next question, fellas: Why? Why do I, why, why is it such a big deal that I'm a citizen of a country? Like, what does that mean? What, what that doing for me? Like, why is it something that I need to fight for? Or, or, or a question could be, why is that something that you're not fighting for? Either way. Yeah. On, on the other side yeah, of the spectrum. Yeah, on the I other side of the spectrum. Right, right up there, right up there with all the other huge um, topics, like the ones we talk, talk about every week. Nationality is a big one in most countries. Nationality and the sovereignty of borders and and um, illegal immigration and things like that mm -hmm. are, are, are are big topics. Um, many great leaders and great persons, great contributors to all the all the countries to our, to our to our west side um, have benefited 
from the descendants of legal and illegal immigrants. Yeah, that way. Yeah, yeah. That way, right? Fox. So, 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 I think it, it, it is a sensitive, it, it is worth fighting for, and it's worth getting it right. Because getting it right will lead to the future, uh, um, our future development, will determine our future development as a nation. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? So we have to get it right. We can't, what we, what we should not do, like uh, uh, Tessa mentioned, what we should not do is create divisiveness. Mm -hmm. You understand? We, we shouldn't yep. create animosity. And especially with someone like myself, who was born here, who has served my country, and who's a citizen, whose wife is now a citizen, who's so you're telling me me and my wife and my children are not Bahamian. That's that's not that's not um that's divisive. And it's yeah. a useless, it's a useless, it's a useless argument, is a useless point to try to make. And I think it's useless to fight for something like that. It's completely useless. It's not serving mm. any purpose. I, so I you want to fight for something. Let's fight for Keyword. purpose. Let's, let, let's, exactly. So if you want to mm -hmm. fight for something, let's fight for something that has purpose. Let's fight for how are we going to fix, what kind of solution we're going to come to. And I, I, mm -hmm. I really like that, the idea you gave, man, the amnesty period. I think that's mm -hmm. a great idea. Um, and how do we turn the undocumented persons into contributing documented citizens? How do you do that? Yes. You guys, you guys do realize that 98% of the people, can't what we always say, I'm going to say on the show, but you know, 98% of people is, you know what, anyway. <laughs> wow, that's a lot of, of people. 98% <laughs> of people that use this organic term, this organic term, that, bro, they're not interested in you, you know. They're not, they're not mm. interested in that, bro. They ain't yeah, interested yeah. in contributing to society. They ain't interested in in, in, in passing on no type of skills to, to up build what, 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 what they want. All what they, bro, want, they, want. they don't even know what they want. Wow. Do you know what they want? You know what they want? Talk all day. Talk. So they want attention. Talk. Huh? Attention. They're talk. looking for attention. Yeah. They want to talk, wow. bro. And 90%, of, not even 90, 99% of what they're saying. Like my grandfather always told me, bro, if you have nothing nice to say or nothing worthwhile to say, just shut up. Mm -hmm. Some people just talk just to talk, man. Mm -hmm. And just talk, so, just because you talk don't mean you're making sense. I research <laughs> Fox. <laughs> I, I research the benefits um as it is looked at on a on a global scale when you when you look at one nation versus the other, like what's the benefits of being a Bahamian citizen? Um, well, I mean, you know, no one wants to be undocumented because there are a lot of benefits to belonging to a nation, right? So one of the benefits of being a Bahamian citizen is that you are part of the, the Commonwealth, which adds a certain degree of protection and a, a seat at a table, at a table of a, a strong lobbying table. Um, it's a visa-free, or visa required for 141 nations. So we could travel to 141 nations, mm -hmm. either visa free, or we can obtain a visa, no hassle. It's big, it's a strong passport. Um, yep. You know, we have, we have free, free education and health, healthcare, and we also have, um, our passport is, is, is 19th in the passport index. And they rate passport index based on mobility, like how many places you can travel to without ha having a hassle, um, how many passports, I mean, how many places you can go visa free. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, and, and just, just the, the respect of, your, of the passport. Where people say, "Oh, you're from the Bahamas, and you don't, and you could just, you know, you could just roll." Nineteen. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now you know that there are some nations that have several passports underneath the, 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 their 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 title. Um, but some of the stronger passports are places like Japan um, at eighty six percent, the U.S., 
comes in at where do I have them on this card? Yeah. Okay. Canada comes in at 85%. The Bahamas is at 73%. So in the Caribbean, Barbados is at 76%. So a little bit higher than the Bahamas. Haiti, since we're talking about Haiti, they're at 31%. Mm. Right? And mm -hmm. again, I, I just have to point out that Haiti is being targeted because they are the one that started the revolution that resulted in emancipation. So I want you to understand that. Haiti is being targeted. So they're at 31%. Um, Jamaica is at 48%. Cuba is at 39%. And uh, wait, I lie. It's the wrong one. No, no, right one. Yeah, Cuba is at, at 39%. I mean, China. China is at 42%. So without, without me um, getting on anybody's bad side, but let me say, the Ukraine is at 73% and Russia is at 60, 62. We've seen as though they're at odds right now. Um, but I wanted to point out like China, Cuba, Haiti, who's being targeted. These nations that are predominantly, will have a lot of black roots and have a lot of, of history being a resistance to certain superpowers seem to be struggling. And, and that, that like a, a bell went off for me. Um, the Bahamas has a very strong passport, but I also remember a time just before the uh, extradition of, of, I don't know if I said that right, but of um, Nighty Knowles was a key mm -hmm. moment in, in, in and I, as I watch, I also remembered the blacklisting that happened. No relations, no relations, no relations. Right? So there was a blacklist listing um, um, that had to do with, with us opening our banking system and a whole bunch of, of, of Swiss banks left the country. A whole bunch of, of banks that held a lot of money for persons that did not want people to know their business. We got blacklisted for them and they, instead of... Um, changing their program to match what America wanted them to do, they decided to leave the Bahamas. I don't know if y'all remember that. Robert. Crime went through the roof when they took 90. Because now with the, with the big with the big kingpin drug lord gone, all the other little smaller guys started to fight. The Asian mafia, the this mafia, the that, and all of these people started to clash and just things went haywire in the Bahamas. And I don't know if people know these things but as a citizen it's your duty to be informed and to vote right and you vote for people that are also aware of these things and that are listening to you um and the reason why we should want to be a great citizen is because of when i was in college and i graduated with my degree in computer science my family who lives in the US asked me, they said, Dyson, are you sure you wanna go home? You wanna return after, uh, after your degree, you wanna return home. And I was like, hey, it's the Bahamas. We don't have no taxes. We don't have this, we don't have that. It's safe, it's all these different type things. I could riddle off the reasons why in no way I was staying in the United States of America. I was going home, right? Today, mm -hmm. Citizens of the Bahamas, I need you to understand that you have a duty and you have a responsibility to ensure that the Bahamas is still the type of place that Dyson Knight wanted to go back to after yeah. he graduated college, bro. Right now, we have politician children that go off to school and they don't want them to come back. Yep. Yep. It's real. I don't want I don't, my kids who I know I'm now visiting in Canada, I don't want them to come back because they have more opportunities and a better chance in a different country. And I would have never said that when I was leaving college. Mm -hmm. No. You understand what I'm saying? I was like, definitely I want my children home. So in the argument of who is an organic Bahamian, y'all need to crush that. Straight up, we need to work on why. Why is it so great to be a Bahamian? Let's make, make do things that's gonna make our nation stronger because right now you're all fighting over the wrong things. I can just Absolutely. Say that.
I ain't gonna be, I'm not gonna be offensive because a responsibility in being a, a good citizen is also to respect the opinions of others. That's also mm-hmm. a responsibility. So so I'm gonna I'm gonna respect everyone's opinions, but I'm gonna ask us to don't go into this fight about citizenship like this. This, you're, this you're is like a proper a special stash. needs person, bro. Protect your jaw. <laughs> protect your jaw, protect your temple. You don't want to get knocked out in this fight. You understand what I'm saying? Get, be skilled. Be informed. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm be smart. Anyway, y'all, y'all tell us, you've been rocking this for a little while. Y'all have anything to say in conclusion? For me, personally, don't get involved with people. As far as conversation is, as far as anything, I don't have a clue about what they're talking about, bro. But. Some people just in your life to drain your energy. You hear me? No other purpose except to drain your energy, drain your resources, stress you out, and pull you down. But That's it. Mm-hmm. I told Kent, me and Kent, we talk a lot. And for me personally, if I hear these words right here more than three times in a conversation, I'm pulling out of the conversation. And those three words is, I feel like. I can't do it. The minute I hear the words, I feel like more than three times, because from my experience, when a person keeps saying, well, I feel like, well, I feel like, that's a personal issue. Yeah. That's a personal issue. And yeah. personal issues can only be solved by you. And only you. I can't help you with your personal issues. As a matter of fact, I don't want to help you with your personal issues. Because I got my own. Right. So to speak. Right. So yeah, so, 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 so people, um, just be aware that everything you hear ain't gold. Be aware that people are out there to lead you down a crazy path. And, and, and most, most importantly, believe this. Misery love company. Yep. Stay away from miserable people. <laughs> yeah. Period. Boy. Yeah. Before, Boy. before you go, Ken, I want I want to uh, Ken Ken um, K Max. This this is drama in, in Bahamian. Shout out to you, bro. Thanks for for tuning in. But he said he coming home for bamboo shock, and that may sound. I mean, it is hilarious, right? But that is exactly the type of attitude I want from Bahamians. Yeah, because we talked about. We talk about support. And the Where's he at? Is Where's he at, Tyson? He ain't say he coming home for KFC. He coming Where's home he for at? Bamboo Shack. He's, he's Where's he Florida. at, bro? He's in Florida. Hey, hey, there's a Bamboo Shack in Florida, bro. In Miami. There's a Bamboo Shack Bamboo in Shack. Miami. Shout out to Bamboo Shack. And see, yeah. that, the, it's, it may seem small, um, but it's a big deal for me. Like when I, whenever I see somebody doing something that's on par with what I see internationally, and I, I go all over the world too, I, I'm proud of that. Mm-hmm. I'm kind of proud of these, these little debates and conversation. I'm a proud of Shawnee. I'm proud of Bamboo Shock. You know what I'm and and yeah. authentically, like, like Bahamian. I, well, I should say this. I'm, I'm a proud of, I'm proud of persons that have businesses. Like I know uh, a Lincoln, Lincoln deal. He has, he's doing the, uh, the farm in, inside the, the um, there's the, there's pop star entertainment. There's a, there's a bunch of a small organizations with organic payments who are actually contributing to, to creating moments or, or things or being people that I could be proud of to say, Hey, that's Bahamian and I know her and I would support him or her, whatever they need, if I could do it. You understand what I'm saying? And I think yeah. that's nation building right there. And being a citizen is being applied to making the country that you belong to great. It's not just about saying I born here, so I supposed to get crown line. But anyway, I, I rant in again. Kent, it's supposed to be your time. You go ahead, my brother. Uh, I will close out by saying the term organic behavior is garbage. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't. I don't support it. We need to stop saying it. It is. It is very divisive. Um, 
it has no type. It doesn't make any sense. It's not a sensible or reasonable term. It's not rooted in anything legal or scientific. It's just a dumb term. It's a dumb term. Okay. Yeah. So let's stop saying it. We're, we're quite happy to claim people like Clay Thompson and Beyonce and all these other people. We claim them as Bahamian. So let's let's just let's just stop the nonsense. Let's stop. Like Juan said, misery love company. So oh. stay away from miserable people. People stop talking like that. Mis- that misery, man. They're yeah. like confusion and they're like misery. Stay away from people like that. Let's remain constructive. Yep. The most important thing we need to focus on as far as being Bahamian is concerned is developing our nation. There's nothing more important than developing our nation. And that's what I learned growing up in the era I grew up in. I grew up listening to Lyndon Pinley. And that's one of the things that he was always about. My mom, my mom um, worked in the Ministry of Culture for 40 plus years. Uh, I'm saying to you, so, so I've, I've seen our country represented all over the world. And when people mm. see our culture, not just John Cano, you know, when people see our culture, when people see our, when people see our, 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 our spoken word, when people hear, hear our choral singing, when people see our traditional dances, when people see our rake and scrape, the goombe, when they see all that stuff, and I, I see, I could go on about culture all day. I, I, I deep in culture. I, 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 most people superficial at John Cano. I could go way beyond that. You understand what I'm saying? So when when I see, I've seen basically an army of Bahamians go and represent our country uh, and take our culture to the world. And I've seen people's reaction to it. Mm-hmm. I've right. seen it with my own eyes. People love our culture. So yes, our passport is strong, but our culture is strong. Our heritage is strong. And the only thing we need to really focus on is continuing to develop our country, continuing to, like Tessa said, um, strengthen us as a nation in unity and not be divisive. It's a total waste of time. Total waste of time. Mm -hmm. So I encourage everybody everybody to do that. And um, as far as I'm concerned, the song is absolutely correct. If you born there, you born there. And use a behavior, and that's it. That's it. That's it for me. That's all you know. That's all you know. If you born there, you raised there, you spent all your life there, what else you know? Yeah. All right. Yep. Well, this episode, let me read this comment from Miss Brand Tapin here. I stopped saying that and stopped making doing business hard for legally documented foreign nationals. Yes. Like oh, wow. it's a crime to be a Bahamian while we are. Still while we are at it, let's start giving proper recognition to, oh, boy, you went, you type, okay, recognition to the nation builders as well. Absolutely, 100%, yep. totally agree. Let's focus on, on what's going to make this country on better point. and best, because I don't like being 19. 19, don't get no trophy. <laughs> I serious, you don't even get certificate when you're 19. <laughs> you got you gotta be a top one, two, three. And there ain't no reason why we can't. I don't wanna hear nothing nope. about nothing. There's trillions nope. and gazillions of dollars that pass through the Bahamas. We could figure it out. Y'all yeah. just stop fighting over peanuts, buddy. We could eat steak. All right, all this is something show. <laughs> the something show. Um Dyson Knight, Juan Knowles, Dr. Kent Bazard. I was gonna ask you, Kent. How do I become a citizen of Empire Fitness? All you got to do is walk through the door. Once you walk through the door and you sign up with us, you are absolutely a citizen. And once a citizen, once a citizen always a citizen. It cannot be revoked. Boom. Wow. And on that note, on you that get, note, you one, get me want to walk through the door. <laughs> you got to come lift these 200 pounds, bro. What you dealing with? Hey, hey, that ain't a thing, much. Check us out in Seagrace Plaza. Prince Charles Drive. But uh, yeah, man, come through. We have a real community in there. We, we, we love each other. We're like a little country. Guys. We, we love, we... I'll be there as soon as I touch down. When I touch yeah, down, man. straight to the gym. Trust me. I straight put on very weight in Canada. All right, y'all. Hey, blessings. Y'all be safe. Until next Sunday, we'll talk. This has been episode number eight of the Sutton Show. Proof of citizenship. I think we did it. Yeah, you yep. see? <laughs>
Good night, y'all. Take care.